know, if you're an engineer that needs applications that move air, and there are many of them, well, brushed motors, well, that's been a sort of staple technology for perhaps a century. I'm with James Hill, he's sales director with Amatec Dynamic Fluid Solutions. And James, uh, brushed motors, well, they're not the only way to get this job done. No, we've actually moved a lot of our motors into the brushless, looking at controllability, efficiencies, and long life. With brush motor, you can get, let's say, 2,000 hours out of this one right here for the commercial vacuum industry. But when you move up to the technology using brushless motors, we're getting over 20,000 hours of life on our product. Plus, you get the controllability features on it, where you have 0 to 10 input or a PWM input. Um, there's a lot of different variety of options that we can do. We can also do a uh, 4 to 20 amp input on this as well. Now this seems almost like the best of both worlds because of course the AC induction motor technology, well great, we, we get do, do away with the brushes and the wear and the arcing and all the things associated there, but we, we can't exactly throttle it. No, not really. Um, plus you're restricted to your speeds too. I mean these blowers are going to be turning about 20,000 RPMs on average, where on an AC motor, typical shaded pole motor, you're 3,600 RPMs. So you really get speed and performance of these so you can move a lot of air, get a lot of vacuum, get a lot of pressure. Now, 20,000 RPM, that's very, very high speed. I mean, I mean, bearings will take a beating. You've got to think about dynamic, dynamic balance. There are a lot of factors in there. That's very fast. Do they get any faster than that? Uh, they do. As a matter of fact, a lot of our brush motors for the vacuum industry go up to 60,000 RPMs. High performance, high vacuum. Now, 60,000 RPMs, um, are there are a lot of forces when you spin something that, that fast down there. Are so the motors made differently to tolerate that kind of RPM? Sure, our fan systems, we, we concentrate on how strict we hold tolerances on our fan systems. We balance them with two-plane balancing. We balance the whole system together. The motors then balance, then the fan systems balance together to keep it all within so you're not vibrating all over and vibrating itself apart. Uh, also, when we look at our fan systems, we, the way we stake them and hold them together is, has to be strong, um, highest reliability in the industry. Now, from a machine design standpoint, can someone that's designing now with a brush motor just essentially adapt the design or easily transition to brushless designs? Uh, there's things to consider. I mean, you have to look at the controllability feature. How are you going to run it? You're going to have the right control inputs. You know, let's call, let's call it zero to ten volt input. Um, where a brush motor really is on off. You know, you're just adding the power to it. Um, so you have to make some changes. It's not a difficult transition because most of our customers have the controls in their system and they have an understanding of how to control things just based on the other options in their systems. So let's just tagging off of that and using that technologies to control a brushless motor. Moving air, consider brushless technology for long life and high reliability, says James Hill of Amatech Dynamic Fluid Solutions.